In Europe, precision cancer medicine is widely adopted in large academic centers and universities where long-standing programs have been running for a couple of years. The same is true to a certain extent for large community hospitals. But when it comes to smaller hospitals and private practices, there is a huge drop in the adoption of precision cancer medicine. This is mainly due to institutional regulations and um, coverage of the testing, but also to a lack of knowledge when it comes to smaller hospitals and maybe private practice. In order to achieve the full potential of precision cancer medicine in Europe, I believe we need to think about functionally reconstructing or restructuring these programs. Up to now, these programs mainly run at large academic centers. And as I pointed out, it might be difficult to adopt these programs in smaller community hospitals or private practice. So in order to offer these techniques, these novel, opportunities to patients, we would need to either bring this testing to the community hospitals or get the patients into larger programs to achieve the full potential. In order to achieve the full potential of precision cancer medicine all across Europe, I believe we need to train young generations of doctors from the get-go. Medical oncologists need to know about the full potential across all entities of cancer. Secondly, I believe we need to take the knowledge that we have today and teach our colleagues that are practicing in private practice or in smaller community hospitals to make them aware of the potential in precision cancer medicine and how that can make a huge impact on their patients. A molecular tumor board is an expert meeting where people from different specialties come together to discuss molecular information of a given patient. In contrast to other tumor boards, which are expert meetings based in GI oncology, for example, we do not solely concentrate on the organ of origin of a given cancer, but more on the genomic profile. That means we apply next generation sequencing, for example, um, get information about the tumor and then put that into context and maybe outline a change in management. In a molecular tumor board, in contrast to other classical tumor boards, such as surgical oncology, we have different roles. We see a lot of basic scientists, geneticists, bioinformaticians, molecular biologists, who interact with the primary care team, the oncologists, to put the molecular data together with the clinical data and all of that into perspective to open up possibilities and opportunities for our patients to get a therapy based on the molecular profile, not only based on the histology of the tumor. I believe precision cancer medicine is here and it's here to stay. In order to give the best treatment to our patients, we as oncologists need comprehensive knowledge of the disease that we're treating. We have exciting drugs entering the market that target ever smaller subgroups. We're now talking about one in a thousand patients, one in 10,000 patients. We won't find these patients by just looking for them randomly. We need to look for them in a systematic way. Why is that so important? These new drugs have dramatic impact on patients' lives and can achieve long-lasting remissions. And we need to offer these new therapeutic modalities to our patients. When it comes to immunotherapeutics, we know that certain subtypes of patients greatly benefit from these novel drugs and we need to identify them at the beginning of their patient career in order to offer them rather early to achieve their full potential.